Well, you could say this Kentucky guy marches to the beat of his own drum, but as Chris Suter shows us, he creates that beat with tobacco cans, and the internet can't get enough of it. Warning. Yeah, don't use tobacco. It's bad for you. The noise. Coming from John Dameron's Lexington apartment is far from what a neighbor would ever complain about. I'm a guitar player. I started at a fairly young age. He's good. But his talent on the guitar? I get bored with it easy if it's not too challenging. He's not what's striking a chord about John with people around the world. It's kind of in the can. Or maybe on the can? Yeah, I got holes cut in the bottom of them. All right, you see what I'm saying. I call myself Backer Can Man. Everybody that I know in Kentucky says Backer instead of tobacco. Others came up with the nickname. People call me uh, Dip Daddy. <laughs> it's just hilarious to me. The Dip Daddy took a bad habit. It is something that I don't. I wish I didn't do, but I do. And turned it into music. I would just do it to music and at work, and it was like a, you know, something funny that I did for the guys. Then one of those guys said, There we go. You should play the cans on video and post it. So I did. In a minute, I'm need a sentimental man or woman to pump me up. I've done some Lizzo. Louisville's own Jack Harlow, too. America, sweet America. A salute to America. I'm going out tonight. I'm right. 90s favorites. And rock anthems that are racking up the views. And the next day I wake up and it's like rolling in the million of views. And I thought to myself, wow. <laughs> You could call him TikTok famous. People love him. Rex Chapman, who played for Kentucky, he retweeted my video and so I was talking about how crazy it was. Wow, the oh my god emoji. Each 20 or so second video takes some real work. I actually have to learn it like an instrument because sometimes these songs are hard. And he works up a sweat. You need a towel? No, nah, I'll just take your shirt off and y'all leave. Hey now. But he loves every second of it. I like to cut up and stuff, and whenever I make people laugh and they comment about how funny it is or how silly it is, it makes me laugh. Labels are for cans, not people. So we'll let John call himself and his work what they are. More Kentucky than anything. In Lexington with photojournalist Dominic Furman, Chris Suter, WDRB News. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired, he says. I would be too. I could never do that. I have no rhythm, and it looks like a lot of effort into that. I know, though, who I will be following on TikTok after this story. <laughs>